cheers to a video that no one asked for but you're gonna get anyway so i have this what is this it's called a something apple crisp macchiato with almond milk from starbucks and i'm absolutely obsessed i have to limit the amount of these i drink but i needed to pick me up today because today is wedding day if you guys do not know me my name is kenyatta and i'm a wedding and portrait photographer based out of cincinnati and i am open for travel shameless plug so today i wanted to do a like what's in my camera bag video because i'm about to leave up out of here in about 35 minutes and i thought you know what let's do what's in my camera bag for wedding day so here we are i know no one asked for it but you're getting it anyway first and foremost i have my water bottle i have the hydro flask and this is in the 40 ounce with the wide wide mouth i love this water bottle before i leave i'm actually going to switch the top out and um, put my straw one in here because I just don't like having to keep twisting this open like this but anyway staying hydrated because today it's like 95 degrees outside and my wedding is unfortunately outside so my wedding ceremony and the reception is all outside it's at a pavilion so there will be some shade but staying hydrated is the thing that we're going to do today so anywho into the bag we go Ooh. oh my god this is my wander provoke 31 liter bag in all black and here is my pineapple with my hand sanitizer because we need hand sanitizer at all times because people have germs and then it's this little thing going around right now called COVID ain't nobody got time for that so this is my bag you guys have seen my other bag like this I have a 21 liter in green hunted green um, but this is the one that I take on wedding days this is my bag for wedding day this was the first true camera bag that I actually had that I really, really enjoyed. But it's not practical for everyday use or just like, for, it's not an all around everyday bag. But it is my wedding bag, so we're going to open it up. Sorry, I'm ratchet. I do not have a top down view for you guys. I apologize. So I am taking with me my Canon R6 with the Canon battery pack on there. I just recently purchased this because the R6, since it is mirrorless, the batteries die a lot faster and then on here is my sigma 35 millimeter 1.4 and i also have the canon control ring mount this one is not the 99 dollar one this was the 300 dollar one and i use my control ring to adjust my calvin when i am shooting when i'm not shooting on auto white balance so here's the cap i don't know why the cap came off so that's this setup right here the 35 will not be on here majority of the day today it's just on here now to pack in my bag and if i do happen to use my 35 i will use this camera body with the 35 because this particular lens does not do well on my mark four the next thing in my bag is my canon 5d mark four this is my baby this was my camera that i bought last year because I was too impatient to wait to get a mirrorless camera and I knew I would get a mirrorless camera so I knew this would eventually become my backup. I am a two camera body shooter um, for like the ceremony and stuff like that so I will be putting this to work today. The next lens I have is my Canon 24 to 70 2.8 lens. This is the version 2. This lens right here is my bread and butter. Even though I love prime lenses for the wedding reception this right here is my jam for the wedding reception this never comes off and set for like when it gets dark outside then or if it's not enough light inside of a venue if i'm indoors i will take it off and put the 35 on because the 35 stops down to 1.4 and this only stops i said 34 35 whatever the 35 stops down to 1.4 um and this one only goes down to 2.8 oh popping lens caps off um the next lens I have here is the Sigma 50mm 1.4. I absolutely love this lens. I prefer this lens over the Canon 1.2 and the Canon 1.4 version of the 50. This one is faster and it's a lot sharper. Um, of course, the 50mm 1.2 version is a lot older. Um, so, of course, it's going to be slower. But I love this lens and it's lighter. One more lens in here and it's this baby right here. This is the new Canon RF20, no, RF70-200 to 200 lens. I am renting this lens. I have rented this lens several times before just because 
I cannot wrap my head around paying $2,700 for this lens and that's how much the actual R6 cost itself and I need to get another R6 so this will be a purchase that I make in 2022 I'm definitely going to get this lens um, after I get another R6 camera body but I love this lens this is going to be on my camera body for a majority of the ceremony i even use this sometimes during the reception just to get those candid moments from far back that you can't really get up close because people act all weird and wonky when you get in front of them so yeah this is my baby even though it's a rental baby so moving on to accessories and attachments i have the godox v1c i have this one even though i'm gonna be outside all day um, I am going to use this one with the little silicone dome thingy because I've shot at this venue before and the way this venue is set up is at a pavilion so there's a lot of light coming in from one direction um, where the sun is coming in from so when that happens and the couple's back is facing the sun they're backlit and it's really dark in the front so I'm going to need something to fill the light. So I am bringing this. Um, I'm not going to use it as an off-camera flash today just because I don't feel like bringing light stands and I really don't have a need to. When I shot here before, I used this only a handful of times. So it's going to be the same thing. I have a battery pack to charge said batteries. Even though the wedding is outside, it does have electricity because it is designated for like weddings and events and stuff. So I brought this with me just in case and i have two of these things right here i just ordered these off amazon they were like 30 bucks each i will leave them in the description box below but what they are are electronic fans can you see my leaf yeah so they're electronic fans i ordered one for myself and one for my second today um because it's extremely hot and if all else fails, I will use it to keep the brides um, cool today. I have two brides, LGBTQ wedding, fabulous. Matter of fact, the first wedding that I ever shot at the venue that I'm going to was LGBTQ. And this is the second time I'm shooting here and it's also a LB LGBTQ wedding as well. So I thought that was very ironic. The one I had last year was Josh and Noah. I will actually leave the link to their blog post in the description box below so that you can go see their photos. And now this time, so they were two grooms and now it's two brides so i thought that was very like ironic so anyway i have these like i said if all else fails like if i don't use them which i'm pretty sure i will to stay cool because it has a strap that you can put around your neck where you like a huge dork but whatever it's hot outside i will use them for my brides to keep them cool that's the most important thing this is from heyday i just picked this up at target because i thought it was super cute and i actually use it all the time so inside of here i have a think tank battery holder this just holds um double and triple a batteries so i have two triple a and two double a in here and the only thing that i have that need these is my trigger and something else needs triple a because this needs double a this has a battery in it already that you charge so whatever i keep these two batteries in here like that and then i also have three additional canon batteries to use i never have ever 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 went through five batteries on a wedding day and i don't anticipate that i'll go through those five today and then i have um this is just extra things to for the back of the lens and this is for like the front of my thingy majiggity cover the shutter i always have an extra one because those get lost so easily then i have a command hook just a clear command hook and then extra strips in here so i have one command hook and i have like all these extra like sticky things in here because if you shoot weddings sometimes it's hard to find a good location where you can actually hook the dress to however i find if i have command strips i can hook the dress almost anywhere on the surface and these don't rip the paint off the wall um i do have a hanger so if you are a wedding photographer invest in getting some cute hangers so i actually have a pretty like hickory not hickory it's like maybe mahogany wood hanger it's in the trunk of my car i always keep it in the trunk of my car because i always seem to forget it if i bring it in my house so that's in the trunk of my car and i always like putting addresses on that hanger because a lot of the times the hangers it's a wasp in my house again a lot of the times the hangers are not so cute yeah wasps keep getting in my house and it's another one and i'm gonna have to spray it but um also i have dental wax in here 
I have dental wax, not because I have braces. Clearly, I don't have braces, but dental wax is really cool for being able to prop rings up like on invitation suites or like any little thing um, to get those nice up ring shots if you're having a hard time like sitting them up. So that is all that is in this little pouch. I have my memory cards. This is also a pouch from Think Tank. I really like Think Tank. Um, I just have all of these memory cards in here. Um, I'm gonna give one card to my second, actually two cards to my second shooter so she can put one in each of her cameras. I know she shoot on two cameras. And then I'll have the rest as backups. Usually I never fill up a full card, especially when I'm shooting on two cameras because the Canon R6 file sizes are smaller. So I never really ever have filled up two cards on an eight hour wedding day. Now on the 5D Mark IV, it is easy for me to fill up two cards if that was my own only camera body I was using, but I shouldn't have a problem there. I just like extras. And then the other thing that I have is this right here. This is the Loom Cube Panel, LC Panel Pro. This one right here. So it has all these different lights on here. It can change to all these colors and it's amazing. I love it. So outside of my camera bag, that is all the stuff that I take with me on wedding day as far as camera gear. I have this strap like I already showed you. I think I showed you. No, I didn't. I didn't show you this strap. So these two straps, this is a single one. I bring both of them because during the reception, I tend to only shoot on one camera body. So um, I brought this one. I love it. It's a cross strap. And then I also have this dual harness right here. It's by this brand. I will leave both of these in the description box below. I absolutely love them. This is, like I said, a dual harness. Um, I use this one for like the getting ready pictures, bridal portraits and stuff like that because I shoot prime lenses for that. The only time I shoot on my zoom lenses is like during the reception and during the wedding ceremony. That is it. I'm off to this wedding. It's 1.15. I need to put all my stuff back in my bag, get my animals situated, and then head out. And I will see you guys in the next video. Please like, comment, and subscribe, especially comment if you have any questions. Um, and I'll see you guys later.